And then she my white horse, she my medical She like my baby mama, know how to take care of me Give my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you Miss that smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while But it's your style, so something must be up keeping you down you a queen that must be heaven sent Pray my soul I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt Honestly I'm used to throwing wishes in a well My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail Actions speak louder than words and that's a lesson that I learned all by myself Let her know, I gotta let her know That she my white horse, she my medical She like my baby mama, know how to take care of me Get my baby problems, you gon' regret everything so I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you Stresses all around us, these high ceilings and I need a baby Pressure and make diamonds, I won't steal a baby Silent baby, hurts to see you crying, know you trying Ain't no lying baby, when I say I need you Greedy if I have to share you It was me that all along did you wrong Thinking that I made you beautiful and strong This toxicity, the death of me, I fear the day you gone The most beautiful girl I've ever known, known. My baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you It's the 20th of September today and I started vlogging on the 18th of September and I realised that this is the first time that I have actually checked in with you. So hey, um, I do apologise for the for the look but um, today is a just day for me um, and I have a lot to do. So I'm in my workout gear to encourage myself to actually work out today. Welcome to September. Um, September 2021, it's actually been a whole year this month since I have been monthly vlogging. And I think probably the longest thing on YouTube that I've actually committed myself to. So it's a proud moment for me. Um, but I've really enjoyed it, to be honest with you. I didn't know if I was going to continue doing it, but honestly, given like rec recording a sni a little snippet of my life every month is really nice for me to be able to go and watch back on and um you know see what i've been what i've been getting up to and yeah just have those like memories time capsule is really nice anyway updates all around so i have officially left my job now um i have been unemployed for about two weeks now um and obviously that was a really big deal for me but it was something that i felt like i really needed to do so i did it and it was fine and i probably worked it up in my head a lot more than i needed to um and you know since then it, a 
kind of been in limbo, sort of like applying for other jobs. Um, but also tr not trying to just jump the first thing and, you know, get myself in another bad situation. I really wanted to go for a really morally ethical company. That's not the right word. Ethi I wanted to go for an, eth an ethical company um, and somewhere where I felt like I could really thrive and, and do, do well in it. Um, some of that I could stay for a long time. It was, starting to, it was starting to kind of get to me a little bit, not too much, because I fully expected that I wasn't gonna, you know, walk straight into another job. And that was fine. I had already, you know, figured that out in my head. Um, but, you know, getting rejections and stuff like that, it is not something that I deal with the best. Um, even though it's completely part of the process and even the best of the best people will, will be rejected. So it is completely normal and I, and I know that, but I, I was starting to get a little bit like, mm, you know, kind of like a little bit disappointed that I wasn't immediately offered my dream job. Lo and behold, you know, I manifested, I waited and I got rewarded. And a few days ago, I actually, not a few days ago, um, I think I've just, was it a few days ago? No, so it was like, less than a week ago um i think this time not this, so this time last last wednesday um i got the best news ever okay so i know it's not officially vlog day in fact it's the 15th of um september today so it's not officially vlog day like i'm not even vlogging until the end of the week uh, but I needed to check it in to tell you this amazing news that I got literally 10, 15 minutes ago and I can't stop smiling. Um, and I just want to vlog, I just want to like record this moment to remind myself that good things do happen. And that um, when I say trust my gut, when I say trust my instincts, when I say trust the process, please believe in yourself because good things do happen. I have just been offered um, a new role with a company that I love, um, a company that I have been a customer of for years and that I feel so happy with and just like, I'm ecstatic. I'm basically, I'm, I'm so fucking happy. Like, honestly, um, I had my confidence knocked when I left my last role a lot and I didn't know what was gonna happen but i have been proven right i have trusted that voice in my head that said get out something else is coming for you i manifested this i manifested good things for myself and they're now coming to fruition and i am so happy so if you're out there wondering what the hell you should do with your life and not knowing what path there is for you please just pr trust in the process. There is a path that has been set out for you. And if you trust that path, you will get there, I promise you. As I was saying before, today is a bit of a gist day. It's actually Jack's birthday tomorrow. So I've got a little bit of like wrapping to do. I need to go out and get some like birthday breakfast bits for tomorrow. And yeah, all of that good stuff really. I'm actually taking him to the theatre tomorrow evening. He doesn't know this yet um, as a surprise for his birthday um and so that's all sorted um so yeah i think i just need to like wrap presents and get stuff sorted and you know i've literally got like um just over a week now so i start my new job so i've got stuff that i want to do um i want to make sure i complete it before i start my new job and you know get busy again so while i've got a bit of time off Luke's with his childminder i am just going for just my basically dinner is pan fried chicken with sweet potato mash, mash and some broccoli so i've just cut up my sweet potato into chunks and some broccoli for, mainly just for me because jack doesn't eat it 
and I'm going to put the water on to boil and then I'm going to be sorting out the chicken. So I'm just about to roast the broccoli and um, first of all we're going to add some oil, drizzle and some ground pepper and then put it in the oven. So I don't know if you can hear me very well, but um, while I'm waiting for that to work, I am going to try and put up my separate tent, even though I have no idea how I'm going to do it and like no vision. Basically, Sukkot so is a Jewish festival um, that we celebrate. If you don't know um, what it is, it is, it all coincides with September, which is the Jewish New Year. Uh, we've got Yom Kippur where we fast, and basically, it's all about bringing sweetness and light to the year um, and I am not entirely cleared up on the ins and outs of it if I'm honest with you um, but we put the circuit tent up and you're supposed to eat at least one meal a day in a circuit tent so and it has to be man-made I can't just put up a marquee This is uh, coffee beans. Daddy. Hang on, brother boy. Hang on. Daddy. Oh, they have to have chocolate coffee beans. Daddy, mm. this is your lollipop. It's, it's not, not a lollipop, pen. it's a pen, look. Pen? And then this bit is a... Uh... <clears throat> is it? Mm. Daddy, you want to open... No, it lights up. Huh? Look, look. <laughs>
come to Forty House. Forty Hall. Forty Hall, um, which apparently is Camilla's family home that's been renovated into a tourist attraction. We've never been here before, but it was close by and we thought we'd come and check it out. However, we do have a sleeping child and no buggy. So that's fun. <laughs> state of myself um and i don't anticipate it getting much better today so if do excuse me while i'm tucking into a crispy cream mm. the point of me checking in now is not to show you how delicious my crispy cream is although it's very delicious um but it was just to say that the next two days are my last two days off to myself um before Luke's not at his childminders and then 
for next time that he will be at his childminders, I'll have already started work, so not entirely helpful. So I kind of need to make the most out of these couple of days as possible in terms of getting stuff done. Um, I have a long list, but I'm going to try and work for it today. Today I'm really going to be focusing on the cleaning side of things. The house has kind of been neglected while I've been so busy with other things and stressed out at work. So I definitely want to definitely want to focus on trying to get that in a better situation um so that when i go to work everything's nice and clean anyway um so yeah basically that's what my plan is for today i've got the whole day to myself because jack's out of the house as well so i thought what better time to start cleaning the house when it's empty mm. also also, I completely forgot to say, because I didn't check in last night after we got home because it was really late. Um, but the Windsors that we saw was so good. Um, I um, wonder over about it because it was really funny. All of the, the key characters were there, like all of the, um, like the main characters, the famous people and stuff. We had Harry Enfield, Tracy Ann Oberman. Um, other names which are Cara Twinton, I think. Um, other names which are quite big, but I not, don't necessarily, can't necessarily remember them. Um, but we have at least four characters from the main, um, actual show. So, if you've seen The Windsors on Netflix, I think it was on Netflix, maybe BBC IP as well. Maybe not, I can't remember. Um, anyway, if you've seen it and you really enjoyed it, then I would highly recommend going to see the show. It's really cool to be that close to the people that are actually in it.
green tea here by the way I actually um, asked my mum about the meaning of Sukkot and it's um, pretty much just the harvest festival returning to mother earth and being outside in nature and um, apparently some crazy people slept under this tent thing for like 10 days or something I'm not really sure anyway I quite like the the earthy side of it and uh, being at one with nature um i've never really been much of a nature person myself i'm not gonna lie to you however i do like the idea of rooting and um being grounded and that all comes from being outside taking all of earth's goodness in um so it's something that i'm trying to do more of is to be outside because i've always been such an indoor person um, but to actually enjoy all of Mother Nature's gifts, um, and not man-made gifts, you know, such as sitting on bobbly grass or feeling the wind, um, course through your hair. It's pretty beautiful, actually. Come up here to give you a little closing speech, as I do. Um, I don't know what this September vlog is going to be like. I, um, I completed my final chores, getting the house in order this morning, so that's good, something ticked off the list. Um, and yeah, basically, I need I, I feel a lot better now. I've got that done. Um, obviously, I, I, I pretty much am ready for life to go back to being as busy as it was pre when I left my job. Um, but who knows? I'm just trying to put myself in the best sort of sped 
to um, just be working again. And yeah, I think we're doing well. But also, I think it's a pretty good um, a thing to do in September anyway. I feel like I'm ready for the changing of seasons, getting into our autumnal flow. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to some cosy, cosy nights. I did feel a little slightly cheated out of summer as the weather had been atrocious. <laughs> but um, it's fine because autumn is my second favourite month. And I um, plan to make the most of it this year. Obviously, without the restrictions, hopefully we can do a few nice things. You know, changing of the seasons, having a home refresh and getting ready for some spooky vibes is pretty much my perfect September, basically. I am going to head off now. I'm going to finish drinking my tea. I've got a few self-care bits planned for the rest of today. I'm really just making the most of my half day that I have left to myself. Um, and I guess I will see you in October and we'll be even more spookified and ready to be scared because that's the only time that I allow myself to watch horror movies because I just don't like them otherwise but in October I kind of say okay well it's October so all right then <laughs> okay I will see you in October <laughs>